Well, we've made it to the 41st episode. That's the number after 40. I'm your host, Chris. It's my co-host, David. And to future, Joe Biden, RFK, Dirk Bentley, and Richard Dawson. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let's make some poor choices. Subscribe. I was going to see how long you're going to let me hold that before you popped it. <laughs> I thought you were holding it, waiting for me. <laughs> All right, I have a uh, have a game that I stole. Okay. I hope my options are good. It's okay. called six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Okay. So I'm going to give you four things, and you got to tell me which one you would do six of, which one you would do twelve of. So on and so forth. So 6, 12, 18, 24. Yeah. Got it. So I have years without watching football, shots in a day, Taylor Swift concerts you have to attend, and punches taken from Mike Tyson. All right. So I would do... Let's see. Uh, I'd do six Taylor Swift concerts. That's the lowest number I can choose from. Okay. Um... Ooh, shots in a day. Damn. Between that and Mike at 12. Um, <laughs> I think just so I... Uh, both of them would probably kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would survive either, but I think right. I got to go 12 Mike Tyson. 12 Mike Tyson? Yeah. I'm also forgetting the fourth one you just you told me. Um, Years without watching football. Oh, fuck. Do you want to... Backtrack? No, Taylor's still at six. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna go six. Taylor, twelve. Mike. I mean, eighteen and twenty-four. If I've gone eighteen with without football, what's another six? I'm gonna do eight, see, and eighteen that, shots and then twenty-four football. See, that's how I was looking at it for shots, though. Like because that's only a day that sucks. It's going to suck for six more years. Like, you're going to die at 18. What's another six shots to feel equally bad the next day? What's another six shots when you've already done 18? <laughs> yeah. Um, like, it's not like you hit 18 and you're like, all right, tomorrow's going to be the worst day of my life. Yeah, because I'll be in the ground from well, alcohol so, poisoning. So That's what's another crazy. Six if you're going to die anyway. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save you the, the six. I'm going football 24. Football. Football 24? Yeah, football 24, 18 shots, 12 from Mike, 6 from Taylor. That would be the worst. Could I at least like close my eyes and wear like headphones? Um, when, yeah, I mean, you're I'm at there. a concert, so it's... I can do what I want. It'll be quieter. I just sit in the bathroom no, you gotta watch on my phone. It, but <laughs> you you got to watch it, but if you have headphones on, like you're still going to hear it. Mm. Earplugs? Whatever you want. You got to be there. All right, I'll be there. I just <clears throat> Oh, you know what I could do is like just figure out how to get kicked out real quick. Like I I got there and then I'll just start throwing my shoes at her and they'll kick me out. Hmm. Okay, maybe. <laughs> I just it's hilarious that you hate Taylor's like I feel like any normal person would be like, yeah, what's 24 concerts whether I like them or not. But you hate her so much that you <laughs> you rather take 12 punches from Mike Tyson. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. It's just funny. <laughs> I definitely would. Oh, no, yeah. it's, it's, um, it's a hatred that in my background right now, I think yours too, is there's a Steelers game on. It's a hatred. That's pretty close to a hatred for that team. It's, it's pretty far up there. Like if you ask me, what are things you really hate? Like Steelers and Taylor Swift would make the top five easily. Okay. Well, that goes into a segment that has been on the back burner that I've wanted to. Uh, what are your top five things that you hate the most? <laughs> yeah. Remember when I asked you that like a month ago? Uh, Do you recall? Um, I really don't know. Uh -uh. Really? No. Was it like in person or was it on here? No, I texted you and I said, what What are the five things you hate the most? Uh, oh, I'm sure being late was on there. 
being late was on there. But was... before, well, I'll, I'll give them back to you. But okay. we'll go ahead since we're already here. We might as well do it. Um, I, it's I have it labeled as sixty second rant from Chris. Okay. Uh, so I want to give you sixty seconds for each of these. Oh, okay. And just give me your your rant on them. Okay. So the five the five that you gave me were the Steelers being late. Feminist, <laughs> Taylor Swift, and Patrick Mahomes. Oh, okay. I'll start with so Patrick me, uh, Mahomes. Okay, let me pull up a timer here. <laughs> I think I just need thirty seconds. I don't need sixty. Uh, okay, I'll give you. I'll give you thirty for each. Okay. All right, on your mark, get set, go. So Mahomes has kind of the Brady effect, where he's surrounded by a great defense every single year, uh, and gets labeled as the best of all time. He has the most immature personality I've ever seen in a professional athlete. Like think of like a 10th grader who like just won like the student body council election. He's like the president of your class. That's that little pussy. I mean, he's just like, can't stand him. 30 seconds. There's 30. We ended on. (laughs) Nice. Uh, okay, well, let's let's address that. Um, so he is the best, at least in the league currently. Not according to the statistics, he's not. What statistics? So oh, you if, mean this season? this season? Yeah, he's definitely not the best. He's probably the f- ooh, he might be top ten statistically this year. Oh, well, he just threw a touchdown. So it's okay. not all about stats <laughs> because uh, he's the only undefeated quarterback. So he finds a way to win games. Well, the team does. Well, he captains the team, right? Uh, I would say Andy Reid captains the team. He just sails the boat. Okay. Uh, and how how is he immature? Um, mannerisms, speech. Uh, well, he can't help that he sounds like Kermit the Frog. No, no, no. Like like personal life. Like you watched that documentary right, on Netflix. No, I still haven't. Oh my gosh. Just watch it. His wife's okay. just I, bad. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think anybody likes her or his brother. They're just, it's, I feel like I'm watching the real world. Like when I see them, it's okay. <laughs> I don't uh, want to talk about it. I'm going to throw up. Okay. Well, we'll move on. <laughs> then we'll move on. Do you have a preference on the next one? Um, no, dealer's choice. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, let's do, we'll do the Steelers next. Ah, oh, the Steelers. All right, right on your mark. Get uh-huh. set, go. So it's a, it's a team of uh, the whole country is a bandwagon of the Steelers. They love them. They love them. They love them. And even when they suck, even though they haven't in a long fucking time, they're still the best in the world according to the fans. Uh, uniforms are ugly. Players are ugly. They just have no future and. They really, you remember that movie, We Are Marshall, where the you know, plane crashes, they all die. That'd be a, that'd be a holiday if that happened. It'd be great. That's all I got. Okay. There's the 30. <laughs> up and up until you got to, uh, killing them all. No, no, no. no. Uh, the, the ugly uniforms. It, mm-hmm. It's, it felt like you were describing the Cowboys. Mm. Although Steelers have been better than the Cowboys in the past, I'd say 20 years. Like yeah, this. but you talked about that after. It was the, yeah. uh, no matter how bad they are every year, oh, the people are like, oh, they're still the curse. Mm-hmm. There's a few yeah, teams like that. The Redskins are like that, too. Not They don't have the bandwagon fans, but the fans, once they start doing good, think that they're right. the best out well, it's there. The, yeah. It's all those Cowboys fans that give me a bad rap because, you know, I'm well, the first you, one. That you can admit I'm, it. Yeah. But yeah. They can't. So yeah. every time I tell someone I'm a Cowboys fan, I'm just lumped into this stereotypical group of douchebags. Mm-hmm. This is our year. I'm like, dude, it's not even our decade. Yeah. It's real bad. It'll be your year when Jerry dies. <laughs> and then yeah. you're good. Then you're good. And as, you're in the clear. And as we've talked about, uh, he's got too much money to live forever. I remember the first time I found out that him and Jimmy Johnson were the same age. And I was like, <laughs> Why does one dude look like a, like the know, crypt like a decent looking old man? Yeah. And the other one looks like the crypt keeper. He looks like he's got at least 20 years on Jimmy. <laughs> he's, you know what? You remember that South Park episode where they're breaking open fetuses and sucking on them? Yeah. I think that's what Jerry's doing. He's just getting pure stem cells <laughs> straight to the dome. 
Uh, did you hear about that? Uh, there's like a, well, there was, I don't know if it was like a lawsuit or, or something, but they came after this chick came after Jerry and was like, you're my dad. And oh, I remember like, that. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. And he like paid her an undisclosed amount of money to not get a court. Well, so I guess she got a court order for a paternity test and he was like, here's like a bajillion fucking dollars to not do that. Jesus. So the world still doesn't know. Well, they know, but you know, not technically. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll say, well, we'll save the, uh, the untalked about ones for last. So the next one we'll go with Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. On your mark, get set, go. Yeah. So she looks like a bird. If she wasn't famous, she wouldn't be hot. I mean, just look at that lanky, um, doesn't write her own music, claims she does, just is the most vile, just, just the influence for, for, cause I can is just the worst. Ugh. I just want to spit in her mouth right now. <laughs> There's 30. <laughs> I just love how these are all ending with blah. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Things I don't like. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, well, I I know. Like, I want to ask you questions for the listeners, but I don't feel like hearing about Taylor Swift again since I already know everything. So please, we'll move on. Please no. Um. <clears throat> okay, we'll go on to being late next. Okay. Yeah. In three, two, one. So being late, yeah. Um, you're set to be somewhere, whatever the occasion is, right? Everyone else can get there on time. So can I, and I will. And if I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just like the worst feeling. Whether it's a just to hang out or if it's to be at work or be at a, an event, Hell no. I'll be an hour early before I'm a minute late. Okay. Um, I think I was the first one to your rehearsal and they were like, Hey, and I was like, Hey, <laughs> Oh yeah. And they're like, how are you? I'm like, good. I'm like, um, uh, I'm one of the groomsmen. Okay. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Chit chat, chit chat. I was like, you got a, got a bathroom. It's <laughs> <laughs> like no one around. I'm like, I, I got to pee. That was the day I was really dead and hung over and zombified. So I didn't want to like talk to people. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. <clears throat> and that's the curse of being first is like sometimes first. you got to just like, oh, okay. But that's no. how Patrick Mahomes feels about your opinion. The curse of being first. Just everyone's going to hate you. I would hate him if he wasn't regardless. It's his personality. That's the only thing. I'm not taking away his talent because he's a talented quarterback, but uh, just him. Yeah. yeah okay. him, him as a person. So as far as the being late thing, I think I asked you this, but I don't remember what you said. What What do you hate more, you being late or when other people are late to, I guess, mm, what your do I hate boss more? Work or if you're hosting something? Yeah. I'd rather, I hate if I'm late more. And I think I've told you this. I think I was cursed as a kid because um, my mom was always late to everything so much that that sounds familiar friends would tell her something started at one even though it started at two just like so that your she, friends her friends oh okay just so that she would be there on time with us um so whether it was like my practices sunday school field trips it, it didn't matter we were always 15 to 20 to 30 behind and it was just i couldn't stand it i think it was the yeah. practices were the most because i loved playing sports as a kid I was right like, yeah, i get to go to practice and I show up and everyone's already doing and I already missed that drill that I like doing or this or that or yeah. yeah. Cursed. Yeah. That's, that's one thing that I definitely took from the military was the, the mindset of if you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Or you just get a, a mom that's perpetually late and you don't have to join the military. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I, I was late to the, uh, the recruitment office and the bus left without me. So I ended up not joining the military. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's yeah. funny. I don't like other people being late either, but I'd yeah, rather, I just didn't know which one irked you more. 
Oh, yeah, me, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, the last one is feminist. So uh, <laughs> let's... I don't know that we've ever had this conversation, so I was yeah. the past like month in for this. I don't know if I have any ammo in the rounds in the clip, but I'll try. And do you need a second to gather? No, your I think I'm good. Okay. All right. Well, uh, feminists in three, two, one. And it's just a lost cause. It's a very selfish cause, and um, yeah, it's kind of like uh, no, I can't say that. <clears throat> say no we, we edit no sure can't I, I determine whether or not we can okay. say things i was gonna say it's just like blm <laughs> it's just uh it's a a movement that doesn't need to be a movement just go do the stuff you're mad at and you don't have to tell the world you're mad at it just if you are mad at it fucking do it and don't bitch to the rest of the world about it okay have a good day um there you like go. go to WNBA games go to women's soccer games just support the stuff you're saying is unequal and guess what right it'll it'll happen so i have three things see yep. if i can re remember all of them um the first one how many feminists does it take to change a light bulb um i don't know how many uh none because feminists can't change anything that was so good uh the <laughs> second one my my biggest like laugh with the the whole like uh wnba thing like oh they should be paid more like let's let's talk about how business works you can't pay them more if they're not making more and they're not making more if they don't have more fans that go to the games and buy their apparel like you you can't just be like oh here's a whole bunch of money like we're gonna we're gonna be in the red but you know what uh there's a a movement for you guys to make more so here it sure is. and and end of the day entertainment pays and, and not to say to take away from like their talent in any women's sports that they're the most right. talented women in that sport because they are but it's just not as entertaining yeah it's it's supply and demand like all right i don't i don't know how else to, to break it and it's not like they're not like look walmart figured it out so can they like come on yeah and it's not like they're making like you know less than what teachers make like they still make a oh, shitload of money. They're making way more money than the average American, yeah. the average person. We'll even say, but because it's not as much as right. the bigger, more successful league. That's like why aren't why aren't NFL players like uh, we want to make as much as MLB players? Like because you can't. It's just yeah. Well, I I, I, NFL I think would be the. Um, top of the ladder so to speak when it comes to uh, maybe reverse that MLB players go well, why can't we make as much as NFL players well, but I'm pretty sure they make more um, maybe certain players do but if I had to put an average on what like one full roster on the NFL makes per year compared to one full roster of the MLB makes per year I would say the NFL makes a lot more money I know basketball is up there too, because the thing is, baseball doesn't have a salary cap. Correct. So um, in theory, they could make more. They could, but I'm willing to bet they do not. If you took, um, like, take a team from the same city, like say, like the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, which which full roster makes more money? It will probably be football because now that i think about it there's gonna be more people on the lineup well maybe not what's football 53 yeah i don't think baseball's that high i'm it might be because of like the bullpen but i don't think there's that many people you can have in the stadium at once in the building on the bench all right so i have i have the top three major sports for you okay the average salary for a major league baseball player in 2023 was 4.22 million. Okay. The average NFL salary was around 3.2 million. Wow. The average annual salary for an NBA player in the 2024-25 season is 11.9 million. Damn, that's funny because that's like the one sport I could care less about. But they that's a little different because they their roster is what like 11 or 13 mm, yeah or maybe 15 so tops right yeah but yeah so baseball is higher than the nfl not by 
about a mill a year. Uh, yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Um, the last thing I had was comparing feminists to BLM, and I, I get where you were going with it. But yeah. One thing that I've always laughed at is, by definition, BLM is a terrorist organization, which is using violence for political gain. Uh, which is yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's exactly what they did. Exactly. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I was laughing because for whatever reason, when you said it like that, it reminded me of Zach from Peanut Butter Falcon. It's a Zachary like that. <laughs> What's rule number one? Party. Party. <laughs> uh, party? <laughs> That's right. Now let's go. <laughs> hey, what's rule number one? What's rule number one? Party? No, not party. No, it's not party. Yeah, classic. The boof. So I have a, a burning question that I've been asking people the past couple days because it seems to not change every year, but it feels like it does, is when is it Christmas time for you? And, you, and personally, just for David, not the whole country when November 1st hits and they're throwing everything in your face, but for you, when is it Christmas time? It's been the same for the last 35 years. Day after and Thanksgiving. That, no, well, the weekend. Okay. Thanksgiving weekend. So post Black Friday. Yeah. Okay. I guess you could do it. But yeah, after Thanksgiving, but typically we did. It was and I would agree. Tree up, putting the lights up the weekend after Thanksgiving. But there are a lot of people that are like, Halloween is over. Out comes the lights, out comes all the decorations for the house, out comes the music, the movies. I mean, even I was on Amazon last night looking for something to watch. In the top, you know, whatever movies to watch, four of them were Christmas. This is Grinch and this and that and Elf and this. And I'm like, it's it's only been a week and a half of November. There's a reason ABC Family does the 25 Days of Christmas. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And I can understand the economical side of it where all these big industries want to make as much as possible. I get that. But as far as the normal citizen celebrating to start it the week, the I first get, week of November, I get the November, desire. I get it. the desire too. I get that too. Because it is my favorite holiday. It's my favorite time of year. You just, just like naturally in a better mood for no correct. Well, I don't want to say no apparent reason, but no, like, there, like there's no trigger. But that, if like, I had lights, happier. if I had already decorated, because I decorate every year, because like you, it's my favorite time of year. I love decorating. If I already had all my stuff up right now, I'd be like, uh, it would just feel wrong. Weird. I don't know. Yeah. It's, I would say just they're, they're not American because <laughs> like, we haven't even celebrated Thanksgiving yet. And that's my point is we have this major holiday of like, yeah, but how, aside from the day that everyone gathers and eats their meal, how do we, there's no, there's no movies, there's no music, there's no real decorations. I mean, I guess people can still keep like pumpkins and their little, what's that thing called? Cornucopias out and all that crap. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it's just like, I think you start putting everything up. It's almost like Halloween. pre gaming for Christmas because you're getting family in, you're, yeah. you're having well, this big gathering, yeah. but you're not I, decorating for it. But you do. I feel like you decorate for the fall, and that falls yeah. through October and November, and then it switches to your Christmas decorations after that. Right. So I feel like you like you decorate for Halloween with the fall decor, and then after Halloween, you just throw the pumpkins out, but leave all the other stuff mm -hmm. until Thanksgiving. <clears throat> yeah, I'd agree with that. Um, but there is a, a movie. I, th I think I watched it last year. Yeah, you, we watched it together. The killer the one, one with Lewis. Oh. Yeah. Lewis from Suits. Yeah, w where they were in like New England and there was like a dude running around with a hatchet killing people. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> like dressed as a pilgrim other than or that, something. No, yeah, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> no, no, that uh, does not count as a, as a Thanksgiving movie. <laughs> It's literally called like Thanksgiving. Yeah, I get that. But well, here, let me. <laughs> You're not like, oh, it's out. that time of year. Let's watch that uh, serial killer movie. Right. 
I got 60 Thanksgiving movies to put you in the holiday spirit. 60? I mean, I could think of maybe Charlie Brown. Yeah. Charlie um, Brown Thanksgiving. Uh, you've got mail. The Mel Gibson? Is that Mel Gibson? Uh, I think so. Or is that what women want? No, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Yeah, yeah. Tom okay. Hanks and Meg Ryan. Uh, Tower Heist with Ben Stiller. Oh, that's a. I love that movie, dude. I love uh, that movie. Uh, we have Friendsgiving. Yeah, but I don't think of like Tower Heist. Like I said, I love it, but I don't think. Okay, it's November. I gotta watch this movie because Thanksgiving. There's a Thanksgiving parade during the movie. Like it's because the movie's not about Thanksgiving. Well, it kind of yeah. is. It is family. Is this? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll give it to it. All right. Hold on. I think you're about to make an argument for that being a Thanksgiving movie, which contradicts your argument for Die Hard being a Christmas movie. I'm not. I can't. I'm not prepared to talk about that right now. Okay. <laughs> um, I am not in the right mindset to get angry at that right now. <laughs> I'm surprised that wasn't on your top five most hated things was people that think, uh, listen, yeah, we'll get there. We'll talk about we'll it there. in December. We'll get there. It's not, yeah, it's not Christmas time yet. That's so right. we can't talk about Christmas movies. Well, it's funny you say that. Cause David, <laughs> I want you to blind rank these Christmas movies for me. Why are we doing that? Oh yeah. That, that, that contradicts everything you just said. <laughs> That's right. Uh, before you get to that. Okay. Um, there's also a movie called the pilgrims. The Vanished, uh, Knives Out, it has as a Thanksgiving movie. Why? I don't know. I don't feel like reading it. The Myth of Fingerprints, The Blind Side. Okay, I'm done with this list. <laughs> okay, hit me. So, David, in the spirit of it not being Christmas time, but it is for some people, not all, I want you to blind rank these five Christmas movies for me. Okay, I'm scared. Okay. First movie is The Santa Claus. We'll go three. Three. Okay. Nice middle of the road. Not sure what's coming next. Yeah. Not not sure what kind of mood you're in. We'll see. Um, second movie is going to be A Christmas Story. It's a classic, and I always watch it, but I feel like I'm obligated to watch it. It's also on um, 24 hours a day, right? Yeah. TBS. Which makes it right? easy for you to watch, but yeah. like, I don't... I'd, uh, my dad will kill me if I don't rank it high. <laughs> um, Might. I'll put it at four. Oh, really? Yeah. It, and that's optimism that you're coming at me with stuff I like. Okay. Um, third one is going to be National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I'll put it at five. It's very hurtful. Well, so far, this is this is good because... Like even five is great. So <laughs> let's see if you'll keep the Christmas spirit and keep on giving. Uh, the fourth movie is going to be The Grinch. Hmm. Whether you want animated or Jim Carrey, I'll let you pick your poison. I'll take Jim Carrey and yeah, so right we'll answer. go to two. That's good. Okay. Last Christmas movie is Elf. Hmm. Not happy about it. <laughs> But I guess so one. So what would you have had one now knowing those five? Uh, what were they again? Uh, Santa Claus, Christmas Story, Christmas Vacation, Grinch, Elf. And I have Elf, Grinch, Santa Claus. Honestly, I'd, I'd probably that. I'd probably that. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm just not happy about the, you know, you leaving out Home Alone. Uh, and I thought about it, but I didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly, I went through the list of, um, I was going through the list of like, what movies do I watch every year? And they were just the first ones that came to mind. Okay. I also will watch Home Alone every year, but it just, they were the first like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was waiting for uh, like Black Christmas or Krampus. Krampus. Yeah. That one. <laughs> I actually didn't mind Black Christmas. I didn't mind Krampus either until those little uh, animated elves started coming out. Like, yeah. Okay. Didn't I, I fell asleep during that one, right? Um, yeah, because we were I, really hungover. Yeah, and I was in the recliner, and I just remember seeing it, and I was like... Yeah, so we partied Wednesday. really yeah. hard Christmas Eve, and then we laid on your couch for like 12 hours the next day <laughs> and just watched Christmas movies. What did we do Christmas Eve? We went out. Where? Downtown Melbourne. 
Okay. Yeah. I believe you. I just don't remember. <laughs> Huh. I believe you, but your Tommy gun don't. <laughs> ah, missed opportunity. I tried drinking a C4 before this to wake up. It's just not working, dude. I wake up at three. You drank a C4 and it's not working? Ah, it's just it's been a long fucking week. This is my first day off. So like I got up and I was like, all right, go to the wine and, you know, get your beer. And I was like, uh, I'm not going to do that. So I showered. And I was like, all right, I'll at least unload the dishwasher, clean the place, do this. And it's like, all right, need to go grocery shopping. <sighs> I'm just going to Instacart it. Um, and I was like, all right, start getting ready for the podcast and this and this. Like, I'm just going to turn on the Xbox. <laughs> 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 uh, Which yeah. I, um, <laughs> so I bought the new Call of Duty. I think I told you that, right? Yeah, we talked about that last episode. Yeah, yeah, and how I've been like going back playing the old ones. No, you didn't say that. Okay, so this morning said, I woke oh, up. There's a couple new maps. So and I woke up and it. I was like, all right, and I did all that, and I was like, all right, let me play Call of Duty. I was like, I'm not really having fun. Let me turn on my Xbox, which I haven't turned on in a long time. Right. Um, loaded that bad boy up, and um, I have the hard copy of the original Black Ops. I was like, let me put that in forgot where I was and I realized once I put it in I had prestige again I think it was like 12th because I had no life 10 years ago yeah. um whenever I loaded it up last time so I was like a level two I had no guns I was like this ain't that fun I was like what about does Xbox store have like modern warfare 2 it was like 15 bucks I was like sold <laughs> downloaded that still had all my data from however, however long that game came out um and had played it for it like had two it all. It had everything. It had all my classes. It was everything was exactly the same it was when that game came out, and I stopped playing it. I'm surprised but, you didn't cancel this recording. So I played that for like two hours, and I had so much more fun playing yeah. Modern Warfare Two than I did Black Ops Six. Well, it's probably a better game, and it's also probably the nostalgia. Uh, a little bit of both. You're right. Yeah. It's just a slower. It's just. It's just a relaxed like feeling. It's just not, I don't have to sit here and stare at, at the screen an inch away from the screen. Right. And, and sweat the whole time and, and, yeah. and jump and dive and this and that. And, and it's just, that one's like, I, you get one attachment, maybe two, if you have the right perk on run around all these maps that I already know or new from the game. Plus I yeah. already know from them reusing them in the past, like four Every call of duties. Game. Yeah. It was just, it was, it was a ton of fun, <laughs> ton of fun. Yeah. I told you I bought that, uh, that, well, I guess not new, whatever modern warfare came out after cold war. Cause I think Andy was like, yeah, it's, it was like it's fun. advanced warfare or something like that. Whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, fuck it. Spent like 70 bucks on it. And I played <laughs> for like an hour and it was like, just not so it. fast paced and it was like die spawn and it's like I spawn in the path of a dude shooting another dude and die and then I spawn yeah. again where this dude's not firing but he's looking right next to me turns kills me I was like no I'm done and it's them thinking that skill based matchmaking is making the game better when well, that reality, wasn't even matchmaking based that was just poor spawn location like yeah. what the fuck am I doing spawning in the middle of fire but if you like remember back in the day on these original call of duties was you could go a couple rounds and just get your shit pushed in, but then you'd go three or four rounds with, Oh, these guys just bought the game. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm about to fucking smoke them right. where now it is every round. It's like, that's your KD. That's how you're playing. Every round is just every yeah. player is better or right at your skill level, which just yeah. is just, ugh. Ugh, ugh, ugh. You just have to start like the first couple weeks you play it, just like just stand in the corner and let everyone kill you. Yeah, just 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 sacrifice the KD, and that used to always be the thing. Like, hey, what's your KD? But now it's like no one gives a shit about that. Everyone wants these skins and camos, and uh, yeah. it's just it's a well, lot. What, and that's why I was telling you when uh, when we were comparing our Cold War stats, is they I don't know if Modern Warfare is the same, but they have like KD, and then they have. The ED, the eliminations per game, which is like mm -hmm. if you get an assist, it also counts towards that. 
Yep. So it's like, yep. what? how good are you? Which it never did. You get 20, 40 points for an assist back right. in the day. Well, you I still get the, the points, but it counts it as an elimination. elimination right. So you could have like a, a three elimination and like a one KD. It was just so much simpler to put together a class in these older games. Like there's not 80 perks to choose from. There's not yeah. a thousand attachments to choose from. But at the just... same time, if they didn't give you that option, people would be bitching about how, uh, like, oh, the game's not advancing or they're not adding anything new. Like, I could almost guarantee if they built a game, their next Call of Duty, and simplified it to, like, you have these four perks of this class, these four, these four, and you can do one attachment per gun unless you have this perk where you can have two attachments and just right. simplified everything. I, I don't know, man. It could just be the nostalgia part that's like... Yeah, uh, maybe. I, it could be. It really could be. But it was just much more enjoyable. It really was. And I it feel was like 15, as we get older, months. though, our, our brain wants that simplicity. Like, these, yeah, you're right. These little kids are probably right. You're right. Like, you're right. You're right. I'm, I'm, I'm playing Black Ops 6 with like 14 to 18-year-olds who are just yeah. like, ah, oh, this is nothing. I've been doing this yeah. since I was four on my iPad. Like, like I watch, watch the videos of these dudes yeah, playing that's on a good point. PC, and I'm like... Well, that's the other how half you, of it. How do you move is it's, so fast? If it's, it's cross platform, so I'm playing against half guys on PC on Black Ops right. 6 and half guys on console, and even semi decent players on PC are going to smoke you every time. Yeah, yeah. I get they have they're like their their sensitivity is like I'm like how are you so good like my sensitivity. I'm like well yeah I get that but like you still have to process what you're seeing that mm -hmm. quick. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, once you I can can't get do down, that. I've I've never even tried to PC game. No, same. Um, I'm roller coaster tycoon in the Sims, and that's it. Oh, and backyard baseball. Yeah, and backyard base. And I had this like airport <laughs> learning game where you could like click on. I don't. I don't remember what it was called. But yeah, no, never. And emulators. No. I did. Uh, I had some like Super Nintendo and N64 emulators. So I was, oh like, yeah, I had those too. Yeah, playing mm -hmm. like Pokemon Red on my laptop. Yeah, I had my Vietnam roommate in college download some for me, and. uh Vietnam roommate, Vietnamese roommate. Is I was gonna say, saying that. I was literally just thinking, like, that sounds <laughs> racist, but if you would have said Vietnamese, it wouldn't have. <laughs> I do have a game for you. Okay. So it's another stolen because you mentioned, or we mentioned, maybe it was last week or the week before, about um, it was like soccer teams, real or fake, that mm. makeshift did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I took it and went with soccer players real or fake <laughs> to see how you do all right and i have i have 10 names for you okay okay so the first name i got for you is muhammad salah sounds familiar i'm gonna say real it is real he's one of the best he plays for uh liverpool mm -hmm. also fun fact uh muhammad is the most popular name in the world. Yeah. I don't know if that's first name or last name, but <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next one I got you is um, Ollie Watkins. Spell that last name. Watkins. Okay. W -A -T. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ollie I Watkins. Said Watkins. I was like, walk like Waka Flocka. Waka. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Allah. Ali. 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 I want to say that's fake solely based on the fact that, uh, the first one was Muhammad, and this one's Ali. <laughs> no, so. no, Ali, not, not, not like oh, Ali, like Ali, like Ali, like the skateboard trick. Yeah, like an Ali. Uh, I'm gonna stick with fake. There's a real name, Ali Watkins. Who does he play for? Ooh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, next one I got for you is Luca Moretti. I'm going to say fake. Luca Moretti is fake. Very good. Very good. Um, next one I got is Maxim Debra. Debra? Max? Debra. 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 B R E A. Debra. X. Debra. 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 I'm say you said Dubois. like eight names. How do you spell it? Uh, D U B O I S. I'm going to say Dubois. Dubois. Maxime Dubois. Max. Maxime? Maxime Dubois. I'll say real. That is a fake soccer player. Hmm. Um, okay. Next one I have is 
Kevin De Bruyne or De Bruyne. Yeah, De Bruyne. Spell it. <laughs> D E space B R U Y N. Kevin De Bruyne. I will say fake. Is a real soccer player. How do you have a last name like that and your first name's Kevin? <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Uh, um, okay, next one I have is uh, Diego Mendez. Diego. Mm-hmm. Diego Mendez. Oh, Diego. T. Diego. Diego. Fake. That is a fake name. Diego. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got next one for you is Raul Ortega. That sounds fake. Super fake. Correct. Next one I got for you is... How Spanish can I make this guy sound? (laughs) Oh, well, here's the next one. (laughs) Uh, Fernando Torres. Where'd you get these fake names? Did you come up with them? Fernando Torres. (laughs) Mm, I'll say real. Yeah, super real. Okay. Um, Last one. Yeah, last one I got is Cess... Fabregas. Oh. That sounds fake, so I'm going to say real. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. Okay. So it says Fabregas. Flabbergasted? Fabregas. Fabric. Fabric. Beast. Or was a beast, I should say. So the fake ones were Tiago, Maxime, Raul, and Luca. You did pretty good. Yeah. I think you got like six of them, six or seven of them. Did I? I feel Mm -hmm. like I might have got half. Okay. Still good, though, for not knowing anything. About Other soccer. than the first one, I'd, I'd say they're all fake. Yeah. Do you have any idea what your favorite state is? Like U.S. state? Yeah. Not like inebriated. <laughs> or not like, I was thinking that, or like state of emergency. Or, <laughs> yeah. um, I think so. I think okay. so. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get there by eliminating five states at a time. We'll do okay. five each week, and maybe that'll maybe that'll make you question whether it's or not a lot of once weeks. you start getting down to uh, uh, we'll do ten. <laughs> so that's ten weeks. Of- <laughs> we'll get rid of ten each week, <laughs> okay, and uh, see if we can figure it okay. out. Okay, maybe maybe we'll uh, we'll start getting down to the the lower numbers, and you'll be like, well, this one is a little yeah. better than this one, instead think- of like looking at it from a uh, holistic view. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. So go ahead and uh, let's get rid of your first 10. Uh, I can get rid of my first two with both Dakotas. Just sounds really boring. Okay. Um, I'm going to say after that, I'm going to stick with the boring states. I'm going to get rid of Oklahoma. Okay. I'm gonna no go, pun intended. I'm going to go with um, Nebraska. Okay. I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with New Jersey. Not a fan of the turnpike? Not a fan of the state. <laughs> um, okay. Another boring one people just don't even know is really there. I'm going to go Delaware. It was the first one. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It's, it's <laughs> you get to get rid of the OG? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's, there's nothing there. Farm, Farmville. Farmington. Uh, there's no taxes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, that's five, right? Uh, that's six. We six. Got four North more. and South Dakota, Oklahoma, Nebraska, Jersey, and Delaware. All right, I'm gonna go with um, I'm go with New Mexico. <sighs> you know, Breaking Bad wouldn't exist if it wasn't for Albuquerque. Sure, it would. They would have filmed it somewhere else. Where? Arizona. <laughs> Is that the same effect? Uh, I'm going to go with, after that, South Carolina. Why? Boring. There's nothing there. Myrtle Beach? Meh. It's plenty um, of beaches. The Gamecocks, right? <laughs> I mean, that's their school. Every state has a school. Yeah. Not named after uh, Felatio. Uh, yeah. Fel- yeah, Felatio. Um, yeah, I guess you're right. Okay. <laughs> So I got what, two more? Uh one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, two more. 
Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Washington. Okay. I have a uh, no. It just seems depressing. There. Yeah. Yeah. And last one for this week. I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get rid of Mississippi. Another one that's just like meh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, because it was burning or? It's a great movie. No. You'd have never seen it if it wasn't for Mississippi. Who's that? Hugh Jackman and William Defoe? I think uh-huh. it is. What's it about? Um, Slaves? Race. Racial. It's a, it's a, I want to say they're lawyers or they're detectives. Crap. I can't remember. I think they're detectives. I'm thinking of the... Uh, oh, no, wait. Is Mississippi Burning the McConaughey movie? Shit. That no. sounds right. Is it? With Samuel Jackson? Is it that one? Where Samuel walks up with an M16 and shoots up the courthouse? I want to say yes, but I will I don't confirm. think it now. Mississippi Burning's got to be the... He, he, not Hugh Jackman. Um, What's his name? Hugh... Uh, 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 Hefner. No. Maybe it might not be <clears throat> Hugh... Uh, you you <laughs> you're doing that thing where you like reverse the letters like you have the uh oh it's Gene Hackman there you go <laughs> yeah. I went I went Hugh Jackman <laughs> yeah <laughs> Gene Hackman and William Defoe they yeah. are they are FBI agents okay so and then oh, you looked at the, okay. the McConaughey one is McConaughey's a lawyer defending Samuel L. Jackson. Is that uh, the Lincoln lawyer? No, that is. Damn, it's pouring right outside. Holy shit. I don't know how to spell. Uh, a Time to Kill. Mm. Yes. I've Sandra, seen that one. Sandra Bullock. Young Sandra Bullock. Ooh. All right. So uh, let me recap here. All right, so you got rid of North and South Dakota, Oklahoma, Nebraska, New Jersey, Delaware, New Mexico, South Carolina, Washington, and Mississippi. Damn, I hit like the whole country, basically. That's pretty good. I'm good with that. Minus 40 states. I meant like (laughs) geographically. I gotcha, I gotcha. I got West Coast, Southeast, Mid-Atlantic, South, uh, Midwest. Well, speaking of the Southeast, why don't you hit me with those basketball teams? So this week on how these ML- so this week on how these <laughs> NBA teams got their names in the Southeast Conference in the Southeast Division. This week on how these MA <laughs> uh, Okay. <Yeah>. Regroup. <laughs> so this week on how these NBA teams got their names the Southeast Division. The teams in that division, Atlanta Hawks, Charlotte Hornets, the Miami Heat, Orlando Magic, and the Washington Wizards. Okay. So first one, Atlanta Hawks for you. I'm going to say they were named as sort of a similarity to the Falcons. Okay. I think that's a good guess. Um, So way back in 1946, the NBL National Basketball League awarded a franchise to three cities Moline and Rock Island, Illinois, and Davenport, Iowa, known as the Tri Cities. That team was nicknamed the Blackhawks after Sauk Indian Chief Blackhawk. After joining the NBA in 1949, the Blackhawks jumped to Milwaukee in 1951. Where the name was shortened to the Hawks and to St. Louis in 55 and finally settling in Atlanta in 1968. I didn't realize they were that old of a team or I wouldn't have guessed that. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have either. How about the Charlotte Hornets? Got a lot of bees in Charlotte. Oh. <laughs> Got a lot of bees. <laughs> um, Hornet sounds better than bees. So the Hornets team name uh, comes from the city's resistance to the British occupation during the American Revolution. So the name Hornets comes from British General Charles Cornwallis' description of Charlotte as a hornet's nest of rebellion. After the Battle of Charlotte in 1780, the city embraced the nickname and began calling itself the Hornet's Nest. Interesting. There you go. 
I wonder how many fans actually know that. Like Hornets fans. I'm going to say not many. Not many. Not many at all. Hmm. Okay. How about... Well, we'll stick in Florida. Let's go Miami. Miami Heat. Uh, go out on a limb here and say because it's hot in Miami. Fucking hot in Miami. So they were uh, awarded an NBA franchise in 1988. And a name the team contest was quickly put in place. Our favorite. So thousands of entries poured in, including names like the Beaches, the Floridians, the Suntan. However, Heat was considered the best of the bunch and now embolize, embolize, embolizens, embolizens? Sim- symbolizes. And now embolizens. Here you go, Eric. <laughs> embolizens? <laughs> the Miami Jersey. Embolizens? How do you spell it? E M B L A Z O N S. Emblazons. Emblazons. <laughs> it emblazons. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Orlando Magic. Oh, you just, was there more of that to read? No, that's it. Emblazons. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the Orlando Magic are named because that's where Disney World is. Oh, that's really good. Well, believe it or not. Most magical place on Earth. On Earth. Orlando actually held its Name the Team contest in 1986. Months before it was even awarded a franchise after thousands of prospective names were entered into the contest for Emerge as finalists. The Heat, not taken yet. The Tropics... The juice and the magic all were pretty obvious nods to the area, but for various reasons, heat tropics and juice were all eliminated, leaving the magic as the final choice for the franchise. So I'm going to say I'm right, but like, that's why that was a finalist because Disney was there. Yeah, I would agree. Can you tell me what movie has a MB has a basketball team named the tropics tropic thunder. Or not, not thunder. That. It's a uh, fuck. What is that called? I know it. I can see it. It's Will Ferrell. It is Will Ferrell. That is correct. Oh, and what um, fuck? what's what his name? Woody Harrelson called? for some reasons in that movie. <laughs> I feel like he's in a lot of movies that you're like, why is he here? Yeah, he is. Fuck. If you're not a full professional, you'd be a semi pro. Semi pro. Nice. Well, speaking in the realm of magic. Let's go with the Washington Wizards. How'd they get their name? I haven't the slightest fucking idea. Okay. So what I got here is it says, uh, honestly, there's not too much to say about this one. The Bullets nickname was around for quite a while. In 1946, Baltimore's franchise was named the Bullets, and Washington's team took the name from 1963 to 1996. However, team owner Abe Pollen, Pollen, felt that the name promoted too much of a violent image. And in 1996, he decided to rename the team the Wizards. So he he just was like, yeah, we're going to change it to this. Okay, so not really much to say about it other than why it was changed, I guess. Right. So here's, here's my thing. Here's my take. I've always known that they changed it from the Bullets because, you know, obvious reasons. Right. Because all the bullets in that city that kill people. Here's my take. Why haven't the Miami Hurricanes changed their name? Hmm. Because of all the people that hurricanes kill. Um. Well, what about like San Jose? That's another one. What uh, about New Jersey? That's the devil, like the devil takes over a lot of people. Well, so he, he kills them. That's whether you believe it or not. It's hard to not believe in sharks. Also, Carolina has a hurricanes too. So, yeah, but less die there. Like when you think of hurricanes killing people, you're like Florida. Yeah, this oh. makes me also think no one's ever named a team the tornadoes, right? That's like a create your team on Madden kind of team. Yeah, yeah. What would that be like uh, Twisters? The Midwest somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, definitely the Oklahoma tornadoes. Yeah, the Oklahoma Twisters. There not there a uh, back to uh, WNBA? Yeah, is <laughs> there one of those? It sounds right. Well, NBA is the Thunder. 
Yeah, but then I feel like that doesn't kill as many dun, people. Dun, I don't dun, think anyone's dun, ever dun, died dun, from dun, 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 thunder. Oklahoma. It's lightning, which would be Tampa. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just feel like as far as like natural disasters, hurricanes kill so many people. But Say lightning again. Lightning. Ka-chow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lightning McQueen reference for anyone not watching. Okay, we'll press. Uh, there's one more team. <laughs> right, I think, maybe. Uh, no, that's it. No, oh, that was five. One, two, three, four. Mambo number five. That's five. Oh, you, I was going to say everybody in the cl- Okay. Got Monica Lewinsky under the desk. All right, so this week, my ask Reddit is, if video killed the radio star, what did the internet kill? Brain cells. Um, I would say it also killed. Um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll preface with brain cells is on this list. I'm going to say hard work. Okay. Learning. It helps, but it's also hurt it. Okay. Um, killed a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of careers. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of a lot of careers. Yeah. Um, okay. Anything else that stands out before I read these span, off? Killed attention spans for sure. Okay. Uh, I think that's also on here. Yeah, that's the the first one is my attention span. It killed um, going outside as a kid. Okay. Uh, I think it, I don't know how to describe it. It just killed that like because you want to. Uh, any kind of like news or know how, or like, you know, let me go get the paper tomorrow to see what happened, or let me see the final score of the games tomorrow. So I got to go get the paper or listen to the radio. So it, it killed um, anticipation. All of that sounds like a good thing, though. Like, you don't have to wait till tomorrow to check the score. You can just look it up. Yeah. Is that not a good thing? I guess it is. Yeah. I guess it is. It killed my wallet. Did it? Or did it save it? Because now you can like... Hell no, it didn't. I just spent $70 on Black Ops 6 and I'm not even going to play it anymore. Oh, well, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Had it had it been only available in the store, you would have been like, all right, I, go. I don't feel like going. Well, just online gaming in general, just, you know. Yeah. Okay, well, some of them I have. Um, I have privacy. Mm, mm-hmm. I have the local porn magazine shop. Also known as Sears. Yes. Funny you say that because the next one is the Sears catalog. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That white cotton bra, man, coming in hot. Uh-huh. Uh, this one says it killed the segregation of village idiots from each other. Now they all congregate and get... <laughs> Now they all congregate and get a platform to mumble about flat earth, chupacabras, red shoe societies. Now we get QAnon and Andrew Tate selling pyramid schemes. (laughs) That's really good. (laughs) Uh, I have innocence. Uh, Yeah. Okay. I have the cable networks monopoly over entertainment media. Big time. Yeah. I have communication skills. Yep. For sure. I have shopping malls. Internet killed shop. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I have realistic sexual standards. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. I have relationships. Yep. And the last one I have is finding porn in the woods. Oh, that, that, yeah. So with like you, the cover you, ripped off, you and find it and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to see anything. But then you get to like page 32 and there's one page that survived. Yeah, Ooh. but she's like, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you, can get, you can say it. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, nah, we're, we're good. Oh, so I have some um, ridiculous sports stats uh, that are barely believable. NFL, sorry. I have some barely believable NFL stats. Some might call them ridiculous. Okay. Is one of them that Derrick Henry has more rushing yards than like 11 teams? It's not. Um, these are going to be more like all time kind of. And yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Um, so Eli and Peyton have the exact same career passer rating in the playoffs. 87.4. I did see that. Uh huh. Yeah. That's bizarre. Do, 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 do. Matt Ryan won 120 games with the Falcons. The player that is second in wins with the Falcons started 121 games. Michael Vick. It doesn't say I, I got nothing. Okay. In Flacco's first five playoff games, he had a 47.5 completion percentage through one touchdown, six interceptions, average 132 yards per game, and the Ravens went three and two in those games. Was that the five games before that miraculous run? Yes, yeah, so that would have been pre-2011. Yeah. So we should look at his like all-time playoff my, minus that one year. Or did they even get back to the playoffs after that? With Flacco? Yeah. Well, yeah, if we're talking about his stats. I think they did. I think they did. And then and then Ray got in trouble. Rice. And then yeah. it was downhill from there for like three or four years for us. Yeah. Yep. Um, in 2018, the Browns started the season 0-0-1. That was their best start in 14 years. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about good franchises. <laughs> Um, the pan. <clears throat> I've only had some pomegranate and blueberries to eat today, and I'm on like my fifth beer. So excuse me. That's that's a pomegranate <laughs> and blueberries more than I've had. Okay. Um, the Panthers have never had back to back winning seasons, but they won the NFC South three years in a row. Wow. Okay. Yikes. Uh, the Oilers slash Titans franchise has the same amount of AFC East titles as the Jets. Four. They haven't been in the AFC East since 1969. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see. In Brady's first seven Super Bowls, he didn't score any points in the first quarter. Yep. I think I've seen that one. Uh, Jerry Rice had 2,169 receiving yards after turning 40. Everyone else combined has four yards. And it's a quarterback, right? Six from Brady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six. So, so someone lost to. Someone lost to. Yeah. 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 Some kind of screen. And last one I got is in 2006 game against the Cardinals. Rex Grossman was 14 of 37 for 144 yards. No touchdowns, four interceptions and two lost fumbles. And the Bears won. Hester also had more punt return yards than Grossman had passing yards. <laughs> uh, that's funny. One of my favorites is the uh, Jerome Bettis. Like four rushes for two yards and three touchdowns. Wild. And I'm uh, sure they another, won. Yeah. Another one of my favorites that I thought would have made, made your list Uh the NFC East hasn't had back-to-back -back division winners since 2004. Wow. I actually Eight. heard it pregame today was the Redskins haven't been five games above 528 years. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what year would that have been? 90? Uh, 96. Uh, they didn't win the division that year. That's... That's um, that's real bad, though. That's real bad. Yeah. I just wanted to get your opinion on some NFL regular season award odds after 11 weeks in the NFL. Okay. I'm cool with that. Uh, so we have the odds for MVP. Do you who I guess who do you think is going to get it? And then I will. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's uh, got the best odds. I was going to say got to be the got to be the front runner. He's having a great year. The top five for all these. We got Lamar um, Jackson. Oh, wait. Oh, you want to guess? I think I get some. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go Josh Allen. He's number two. I'm going to go MVP, MVP, Jalen Hurts. No. He's number um, six. Number six. Okay. Uh, MVP, MVP. But great stats. Um, are they all quarterbacks? Yeah. And J Jalen Hurts is tied. For fifth, I guess fifth. they have the okay. same odds. Um, I would say Jordan Love. He's not on this list of the, the top. List. Okay, yeah, a lot. 
Um, all quarterbacks, all quarterbacks. Um, we've talked about uh, two of them. Well, one of them and the other two, we've talked about their teams. The, hold on, I got to go through. Oh, Mahomes. Yep, number three. Mm-hmm. And With the stats he, he has, I don't understand why, but okay. Mm-hmm. Just because if he's 8 now, I get it. Okay, sure. Um, and I think the only other two teams we've talked about. Minus Jaden Daniels. Steelers. Yep, he's number five. And the team that we've talked about. Quarter, Jared Goff? Yep. Okay. He's number four. Okay. The next one I have is the coach of the year odds. Do you want to guess those? I don't know coaches' names, but I can give you some teams that I think might. So Lions. Dan Campbell's number two. Um, I would say Redskins. Dan Quinn's number one. I would also say Andy Reid. Andy Reid is number five. Uh, Harbaugh. Harbaugh's number six. Six, okay. Uh, fucking Mike Tomlin. Tomlin's number seven. Seven, damn. Um, I really hope Soriani, Sirianni, what's his name? Nah, he ain't on there. Okay. I got nothing. Got Sean Payton, number three. Mm. And Kevin O'Connell of the Vikings, number four. Uh, okay. Sean Payton, that, I, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, any guesses for offensive player of the year? Not rookie, just regular offensive. Regular offensive. Uh, Derrick Henry, number one. Saquon, number two. The other three are receivers. Uh, let's see, Jamar Chase, number five. Well, tied with the other one, but Justin's number. Uh, Justin's number three. Three. So you're missing four, who is tied with Jamar. Not a quarterback, you said? Not a quarterback. Is it a running back? Nope, it's a receiver. Oh. Uh, Amonra? AJ's been out too long. Uh, I was going to say Mike Evans, but definitely not. What did you used to listen to before MP3s? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> CeeDee Lamb, okay. <laughs> CD's so good. I wish he yeah, was on a, well, a team that could use him. Apparently, uh, Dak may be out for the rest of the year. So, so would you rather attempt a uh, Trey Lance reemergence, or are you just you guys just going to yeah. ride, or you'd rather just ride with Cooper? Like, no, I'd I'd rather at least try. Yeah, it can't it can't get any worse. Would so. you rather not try and get a better draft pick because it's already a done season? I mean, it's done. no, because we are so depleted and. It, it goes beyond a single draft pick. Like we could use a top draft pick on a lineman, but we still need three more linemen. We need a better coach. We need a better defensive coordinator. We need a better front office. We need it. So might you, as well try. It could be the Redskins and give up four draft picks next year for a veteran cornerback. Well, we already gave up a fourth round pick for a fifth string receiver. So, yeah, but that's not your three through six picks. They give up third, fourth, fifth, and sixth round picks for Marshawn Lattimore. But they're already good. It's not like they're trying to get better. I wouldn't... Their defense, defensive-wise, they're getting better. But their defense, I wouldn't say, is a good defense. It's good enough, and it doesn't need to be because they have Dan Quinn, who's the also, reason the Cowboys had the best defense in the league for the last three years and sucks now. Well, in my opinion, Eagles win your division. That's what's going to happen. If I had to guess, maybe it's it's just not going to be us, and that's well. That was what I was asking: is you think it's them or the Skins? Oh, uh, I feel like I don't know. This is the healthiest the Eagles have been. That's what they that's what they said uh, last year until the end of the season hit. And they started getting <laughs> hurt, and their whole team <laughs> fell apart. Uh, okay, uh, next one I have is offensive rookie of the year. Jaden Daniels. Number one. Uh, neighbors. Number four. Uh, Marvin Harrison. Uh, no, he's number seven. Number seven. One's there just because 
he that's just what they do. He shouldn't be there. Because that's what they do? Yeah, they put this position there. Oh. Like quarterback position? Bo Nix? Maybe. Uh, he's three, but... Oh. <laughs> I was going with the other one. Same position. Drake May? Fuck no. Eric. Oh. Yeah, he is not good. <laughs> he's number two. <laughs> what? For offensive rookie of the year? Yep. Good Lord. There's probably better offensive tackles than him. Um, and I'm missing one. You're missing one. And I think he's on your fantasy team. A rookie? Yeah, I think we, or maybe you just have taken him in Fandle a few times. Position? I'll give it away, but tight end. Oh, Mr. Bowers. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a beast. I have one more player. Okay. Comeback player of the year. Oh, fuck me. It's going to be that bullshit heart attack, motherfucker. I don't know if it was a heart attack, but DeMar Hamlin's number four. Uh, They're all actually pretty. It's probably the most accurate list. Um, Who had a major injury last year? And Nick Chubb? Well, it doesn't have to be an injury. It could be like they shit the bed last year. Oh, Sam Darnold. Uh, No. What? Why isn't he? I don't think he, I don't even think he played last year. How does he not? Does he not qualify for that? I don't. I don't know. I don't know what the. But he's not even on this list. What? I don't know what the uh, criteria. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Or maybe I, he's just actually. I don't know. I don't know what he it would is. be number one for sure. Um, comeback player of the year. Uh, is it Brian Robinson because he got shot and all that? No, I think <sighs> Call of Duty. Oh, Kyler. Ugh. He's number five. Think Macaulay Culkin. Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> Home Alone, <laughs> Post Malone. <laughs> no, he's a Bengal. Oh, Joey. He's number two. Why? Why Macaulay Culkin? He, he looks like Macaulay. You never seen that? No. Mm-hmm. Looks like a okay, bitch well, to me. While you're thinking, uh, with his bullshit 1994 frosted tips, little cock. Okay. I went two against the Ravens this year, bitch. Just like it. Okay. Actually, he's one and nine against the Ravens, so suck that. He's one and nine against Lamar. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Come back. Oh. You haven't got number one, right? Mm-mm. Position? Quarterback. Oh, fucking Aaron Rodgers. No. Nope. I don't think he's doing enough to. Yeah, he's not. Who's doing enough? <laughs> Who's doing enough? Were they hurt last year? Did they get hurt? Now they're having a good year? No. We can come back to that. One of them was a Raven. I think he was leading the league in rushing or like yards what per attempt was a or Raven? something. Oh, JK. Yeah, he's number three. And I haven't thought about him. I just forgot I thought about him. Yeah. You forgot what? <laughs> <laughs> number one, I think, was on that uh, show that you told me I need to watch when we talked about Patrick. Oh, Holmes. is it old Kurt? It's old Kurt. Old Kurt. God bless that Christian. Hell yeah. Well, I would talk about my beer that was uh, brewed in Glendale, Arizona. Yeah, mine's from uh, probably Madison, Wisconsin. But it was uh, all the hotel lobby had. So, Hey, at least they had it. You want to see? I already saw it. <laughs> You've been drinking it for the past two hours. I already. I don't know if I was so blurry or your monitor was cutting out every time I went to drink. Or oh yeah, there's that Macaulay Culkin. Oh god, I hate looking at Joe Burrow's stupid face. Who do you hate more than that? More than Joe Burrow? Yeah. Oh Taylor Swift and esports kids. Is that what you're going for? Okay. Yeah, well, I was going just esports kids. It would have been even. We should have finished it with that segment, and you should have yeah. said esports kids. mm Hmm. What do you want to do? You want to give me a 30 second rant on these sports kids? Let's see. No dick, no life, no money, um, no personality. Uh, let's see. Still sucking their mommy's teats, uh, live in their basements, uh, chafed dicks from all the jerking. Uh, never met best friend because they never actually had one. And they also had like a stupid Minecraft backpack in elementary school because they thought it was cool and everyone just kicked them in the asshole because they weren't cool. 
and then uh, and and they suck a lot. Fuck them, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Peace. Uh, see you. <laughs>like i was like i was like i was going through this list and then i just ended it with and they suck a lot <laughs> <laughs> Lord. sometimes less is more god i gotta f- oh wow what that's a quote from uh less is more that's from uh angels in the outfield there you go boom is it yeah that's from uh when the uh the two announcers are sitting in the you know how they would like mic each other yeah. And like mute each other or whatever. And he's like, sometimes less is more. You remember that scene? Not particularly. Is that announcer the same dude that played from the, is that the dude from uh, Stranger Things, the sheriff? Is that him? Mm, I don't think so. No. But, uh, no, 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 no. Like picture his no. face. Yeah. But he's, he's from something. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's, uh, Angels in the Outfield? Are you on it? Oh, I forgot McConaughey is one of the baseball players. So is fucking Adrian Brody. I need to watch that movie. Um, Yeah, hold on. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, and Neil McDonough. Oh, my dude. I forgot all these big names that are just players. Maybe that's where they all got their start. Uh, okay. Angels in the outfield. Ooh, he did not do well as he aged. <laughs> Who? Oh, that J- guy. J.O. Sanders. Definitely not Hopper. Definitely not Hopper. Let's see. He Oh, here's a throwback. He was in the big green. <laughs> How about that? How about that? For richer or poorer? Oh, okay. No. Okay. That was a, that was a filmed in Maryland movie. Yeah. I remember I, hearing about that. I remember hearing about the movie. I don't know if I ever saw it. Uh, that's about all I got for you. He did not look good though. 